Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we're hunting down another legendary animal, the legendary pronghorn. We're also going to be checking out a couple things in New Austin. The Sun Worshipper, a house with a lockbox in it that holds some pretty useful things. And oh, God! And we're falling off freaking mountains because I thought maybe we could like hop down onto this and be perfectly fine. Uh, clearly I was mistaken. Oh man. So this is the final legendary animal in New Austin. Although after this, we do have a couple others. Oh, there's a little building right there. I've never seen that little building before. Interesting. Riddle me intrigued about whatever the hell this is. Uh, the legendary pronghorn should be in this area, but buildings that aren't on the map intrigue me. Oh, nope, it is on the map. Okay. Is there anything interesting in here? Slow now. Is there anybody around? I like exploring all these little things. It's one of the main things about the single player mode that's really missing in online. There's really no reason to explore like there is in online. Or a single player, rather. What's in this? Well, it's a lockbox. Hair pomade. Seriously, is that all that was in here? Some, oh, we got a super secret squirrel lockbox under the bed. Come on, baby. There should be like a gold bar in here. A coin sack. Give you a coin sack. Miracle tonic and a wedding ring. Interesting. What about in here? Anything in the cabinets? An old ass bed. It doesn't look like anybody's been here in a hot minute. Assorted biscuits. Oh, jackpot, baby. Who doesn't love assorted biscuits? Everybody loves assorted biscuits. I think that's the majority of everything in here. Um, this feels like some kind of super secret squirrel fireplace that I don't see. Well, damn, I was hoping there'd be some kind of like crazy little Easter egg in there or something, but clearly... Well, that's not the case. Anyways, we need to search for the legendary pronghorn today. And then after that, we've got the the legendary boar and the beaver of doom left. So still plenty of things to do in single player. My horse is like freaking out. Stop going in circles, you freaking nature. God. Oh, is that what I think it was? I thought maybe that was the, the striped Mustang, but I'm not 100 percent sure it was. Now, we should be getting close to where the legendary pronghorn is. Yeah, I don't see anything. I haven't actually entered the territory yet. What is this? Oh, what the crap happened here? Whoa, no. I thought it was like a gargoyle for a second. What kind of... What kind of what? What? What is this? A couple of dead cows and a dead dude. What the hell happened here? Did this get hit by lightning or something? It's all burnt out. Oh, the cow's ass is steaming. Oh, God. Are any of these guys lootable? No. Okay. That's not weird at all. Is there anything in the back of this? So just a random scorched earth area of New Austin. Very strange. I have no idea what happened here. It like just the area just got blasted. It's kind of like maybe a like a meat like a, a really really small meteorite like exploded just above this area because we know there's a couple other uh, impact areas. Either that, it definitely looks like something blasted here. That's something on the side. That tree's all busted up. Maybe it was lightning. I have really no idea. Or there was a lot of stuff. And I don't know what the cows. Maybe the, they're space cows. <gasps> That's what it is. Space cows flew and smashed down here and blew up that cart. That's exactly what happened. Nice. So just near the legendary pro or near the space cow mystery is where we're going to find the legendary pronghorn. Maybe the legendary pronghorn is truly a legendary creature. And just uh, exploded some people and for some reason just like apparated some cows into the middle of the desert. 
I have no idea. If you guys know what happened there, feel free to let me know. I would love to know. Well, we got a pronghorn to murderize. All right, going that way. I guess we can do this on foot. What I would like to do is kill this thing with a knife. There's a camp up here too. Hopefully that's not gonna ruin anything. I haven't really found any camps out like this far in single player. Obviously really not online. You don't get random caps. Where are well, you? You're not here. All right, so it's not up that way. Ah, there we go. Hiding over this way somewhere. I am really curious to know what the hell happened in that little spot, though. I mean, they could have just been murdered. I don't know what the cows are there for. That's what's really got me confused. I mean, I suppose the cows could be pulling the cart, but that's a little strange. Not terribly strange, but it's pretty strange. Close now. Ooh. Where are you, beautiful? I'm going to get you. These tracks go everywhere. So it definitely starts here and then goes down this way. Is that it right there? Oh, that's got to be it. So if we can rope it. So what we need to do is we need to put some cover scent lotion on. We could do this the easy way and just shoot it in the face. But what is the fun in that? I want to rope this bad boy on foot and then knife it to death. Those horses are going to screw everything up, though. Stupid horses everywhere. Oh, well, that thing is actually kind of pretty. Oh. We're going to do it this way. The second we get close enough. Oh, this guy's like hiding in the damn bushes. Oh, what is happening? That was dumb. I don't know why I hit that. Target the stupid prog horn! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna run him off the cliff and then I'll lose it is what's gonna happen here. Oh god! I thought he was gonna buck me for a second like the devil goat of Butcher's Creek. That is not gonna work. Oh, get him! Nothing you can do. Is he just staring at me? Is he provoking me? Oh, come on. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, the legend! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So you can't, you can't rope the legendary one. Oh, that's funny. I haven't been dragged while lassoing something before. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I want to see if it's still possible, though. I'm glad I wasn't on my horse when trying to do that. I could have damn well died. All right, time to stop messing with the legendary pronghorn of doom. And boop! Oh god, he's still alive! Shoot him in the butt! Poor pronghorn. That thing dragged me like a beast, though. Can we pick it up? Ooh. That's like one of the biggest things we've ever... Oh god, it's huge! This thing's majestic. I guess we need to skin it and take it to the butcher and stuff like that. Pretty easy to find. Now, the next spot we're going to is a cabin northeast of Tumbleweed. Now, I don't have it marked on the map here. I don't exactly know where it is, but there's a lockbox that we can get here that contains the explosive slug pamphlet and a couple other things, and I'm pretty interested to check it out. And there are a couple other little places uh, just outside and around Tumbleweed that I want to check out, too. So, hopefully you guys all enjoy this. Thank you so much once again. For all the support on the Red Dead Redemption 2 content, we did start a Spider-Man 2 playthrough series, and Atlas is going to be coming out very soon, which is a pirate MMO, and I'm crazy excited to be playing that. that. Um, so expect lots of content from that. I've wanted a good pirate game for a long time, and I'm hoping that we finally got it. Okay, there's the, the little building right here. I almost said, oh! Okay. Well, that's an exploded building now, so that's perfect. <laughs> what happened? Can we get, actually get inside of all that? I was sitting here babbling about playing a pirate game, and damn house I wanted to explore is now blown up. All right. Uh, 
So maybe we have to wait until this place burns to the ground before we can get the lockbox. Is there, is there anything that we can loot here? Nothing. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Should it get like blown out of the house? That's crazy. This guy must have been like researching things that explode, maybe explode. Repeater cartridges. Is there like a body or anything in there? So can I grab whatever that is? Rifle cartridges, high velocity. That's that's all. Well, there's supposed to be a pamphlet in there, but I guess since I already have purchased the explosive slug pamphlet that I can't get it from that lockbox. Is there anything else to be had? Oh, there is a dude in here. Oh man, can I loot him? Oh no, he is super duper exploded. Oh no, is that the only person? Interesting. Okay. Well, he's super duper dead. That's why you don't play with explosives at home, ladies and gentlemen. Or explosives you don't know what you're doing with explosives because you're going to get your ass exploded like that guy. And then you won't be able to play with explosives no more. So, uh, there's that. Okay, so if you haven't gotten the explosive slug pamphlet, you'll be able to get that from that lockbox right there, which you can access in Epilogue 1. I believe they patched the little glitch that you could do to get to New Austin early. Um, but right now, there's another Del Lobo encounter that we can get. And I just need to find the building. There's a specific building that we can encounter them in, and it's somewhere around Tumbleweed. I've just got to find it. I guess I was mistaken about the Del Lobo encounter. I could have sworn that I found it before, but there is a unique collectible up here in Rattlesnake Fort, and it should be right about here. I believe it's like around this little lean-to thing or whatever you want to call it. There it is right there. Could barely even see it. Hey, leave me alone. I'm just here for this really creepy ram skull mask. It looks like it's still even got blood on it. <laughs> oh, what's that marking? It's got like, looks like it's been Simba'd. Oh, we need to get a closer look at that. Is that some kind of like demonic symbol or... Can we zoom in on our face here? I think I might just be reading into that a little too much, but it looks like when I first looked at it, it kind of seems similar to like some kind of Japanese writing, maybe Korean. I have no idea. Definitely not Korean, but it, it looked like it might have been something. I guess it's just like blood has been smeared on it. You can get the, the Ram Skull mask from right there. And there's quite a few other unique items that I haven't gotten in the game yet. Uh, I was kind of thinking of doing a live stream where we go around and collect some of these things. Or if you guys would rather see it in a video, feel free to, to let me know in the comments below. Maybe we could do a combination of both, I suppose. But um, now there is a soothsayer down here. Not a soothsayer, but a sun worshiper. And there's quite a few interactions that we can have with this person. And I'm going to see if we can get the first one. And then if you want to see maybe the full interaction, I believe there's like 12 different interactions we can have with this person each after like three days. So it's going to take a very long time to record. I'd be more than happy to. We're going to find where he is. I believe we encounter him. Is that a cougar? It's an enemy. It's a random enemy? Who's out here trying to shoot me? It's a freaking cougar, isn't it? That looks like a fat one. That's a fat old cougar. Damn, that thing looks like he's been eating a lot of Gila monsters or something. I guess it's not that fat now that we're here. I'm going to have to remember this spot. I wonder if this will be a good cougar hunting spot. Because there's a butcher down there. Not too far from Tumbleweed for online for making quick money. Let's keep that in mind. You can also make a lot of money from panthers. So keep that in mind as well. If you're looking for different hunting methods for making money. Oh man, it's this guy. He's still alive. It's the blind man all the way out near Tumbleweed. I haven't seen him out here before. Help a blind man. I got you, buddy. He like struggled to get up that time. What you got to say there, home skillet? You remember the past at the expense of the future. 
Uh, right. Okay, friend. All the best now. Oakley dokely then. I have Let's go, boy. For you now. Interesting. So that guy's got a lot of different fortunes to tell. And I had actually started recording the episode for getting every single one of them. Still something that I need to work on finishing up. Oh, God. Sorry. I didn't mean to, like, almost Kool-Aid your ass. There's a bunch of different locations that you can meet the Sun Worshipper, but the first one is always going to be in Hennigan's Stead, and that's where we're headed right now. Hopefully he's going to be there. I don't know for certain if it's there every single time, or if you're going to have to come at certain points of the day. But let's see if there's anybody over in this particular area. It might not be until later in the day. There's the prison over there in Mexico. Unfortunately, there is no sun worshipper. I thought that guy on the horse was one for a second. So he's supposed to be right around the A in uh, Hennigan's Stead, which we're at right now, pretty much right at this cliff here. So what I'm going to do is maybe come back a little bit later in the day when he can actually legitimately worship the sun. Oh, there he is. We just went away and slept until about noon and... This fine gentleman is out there worshiping the sun. No idea what he's got to say. Hello, good sir. Hey, what are you doing, friend? I'm just chilling, you know. Wondering. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Oh, he's a what hippie. What are you wondering for? Uh, no idea. Man, me too. Me too. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you around. Enjoy the sun. It's the one true God, you know. Okie dokie. Nothing else matters. All else is lies. <laughs> okay. Is that all? Is that all? Oh. Alrighty then. Go, my friend. Find your own path to light and peace. Can I kidnap you? Oh yeah, you worship that sun, man. <laughs> well, this guy's crazy looking. <laughs> Can I hit him? I don't know if I actually want to. This guy is looking all I would like sorts to be of crazy. Alone with Helios now. Well, but if he's our one true god, or it's our one true god, wouldn't she want some company? Maybe. I'm actually really interested to see what this guy's got to say for the other 12 things. It's going to take a while to record because waiting for three days takes forever. But I'm definitely going to do it. So thank you all for watching. Just a little bit of episode exploring some of the weird things you can find in New Austin. I hope you all enjoyed it. There's going to be hunting. We're going to find more unique items and uh, plenty of Bye, more then. secrets to be had. You know, this can only be truly appreciated with absolute peace. But maybe if I just squat here and stare at your your uh, crotch area. Uh, this is getting weird. Anyways, thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one.